merci à Rod et à tout le monde. Merci pour votre présence ici. C'est très, très froid. Et nous avons aussi les... The security fences are driving me nuts. I just, no, I just checked with the guards. I want you to know this is not a new permanent fixture of Parliament Hill. Yes. These are the leftovers from the visit of uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu. So I would like to invite as many members of the crowd as would like to. I just stood higher up so I could count. I stopped counting when I hit 200 people. That's pretty great for a rally that takes place on a very cold day when we only had Facebook organizers. And I think our own and the other organizers deserve a big hand. So I feel a bit <laughs> distant from you. Mais c'est très important d'avoir les manifestations manifestation autour du Canada parce que pour les Canadiens c'est rien que c'est si important que la vraie démocratie. We need demonstrations across this country. We need to make it very clear and I want to be clear about my position as leader of the Green Party. I don't know who paid for and orchestrated a national well-coordinated attempt to defraud thousands of Canadians of their vote. I just know that it happened. I'm not accusing anyone. I don't know who organized it. I don't know who paid for it. But I know one thing. If we don't have a full public independent inquiry, none of us will ever know. I know that in my riding of Saanich Gulf Islands in 2008, a serious crime was committed. There were thousands of robocalls made to voters in my riding that, that arguably affected the outcome. I, didn't, I wasn't a candidate in that election, but the liberal candidate, Bryony Penn, was defeated by a narrow margin, and many people protested. There were many complaints, including official complaints from the Liberal Party in Saanich Gulf Islands, official complaints from the NDP in Saanich Gulf Islands. There was affidavit evidence. There were phone recordings of what was made to the people across the riding. And Elections Canada and the RCMP dropped the case because they couldn't figure it out once they realized the calls had originated in the United States. This is not a case that should have been dropped. I believe that the robocall scandal in Saanich Gulf Islands in 2008 was a pilot project by shady operatives of some political orientation, and I don't know who it was, so I'm not saying, but it must we know whoever did it we know whoever did it had the motivation to assist a conservative candidate. That does not mean we know who did it. I think it's very important to make that distinction. We need to get to the bottom of it. And Stephen Harper, as leader of the Conservative Party, but moreover as Prime Minister of this country, should be just as upset about this as I am. He should be calling for an inquiry. He should want to prove that his party had nothing to do with it, and he should want to get to the bottom of what scummy activists who want to help him would have done this. How did they do it? Where did they get the money? Where did they get the lists? These are questions that must be answered and they simply won't be answered without an inquiry. We are not a banana republic. We allowed the RCMP, the state police, to interfere in the 2006 election and nothing happened. In 2008 we allowed robocalls to affect the results in my riding of Saanich Gulf Islands and nothing happened. In 2011 we had massive efforts at election fraud and every single call was a crime. I want this tough on crime government to get tough on electoral crime. on a full, fair, independent inquiry. C'est la chose la plus importante pour sa démocratie que c'est nos élections sont égales. Nos élections sont transparentes. On doit exiger pour une enquête indépendante. Merci à tout le monde. Merci énormément, Elisabeth. Thank you enormously, Elisabeth. I think you are echoing the sentiments of every one of the 200 plus people who are gathered here today. And I think we need to give Elizabeth another round of applause. Is there a new